everyone today i'm gonna show you how to make the hair halloween hair bow or hair flower so this ribbon i bought it from the dollar tree it's coming with the roll like like this so what i do i cut it out i cut it to four inch in a quarter and the ribbon came in the size is two in in a quarter so what I do, after I cut it to the side, I cut this on the side, I have the, the little wire in there. I don't want that. I just cut this off. So now when you get it under your candle here, you are going to go on the side and try to do this so the ribbon won't fray. Cause you just cut it. If you do this with kit, you need to be there with them because it's the fire. Um, don't let them do along with this candle because it's dangerous. I don't want them to burn your house down with this candle. So be there with your kit if you're making this. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a candle. So I have make a few here. And I'm going to do this for you to see. So fold it right in here. The other one, you're going to do the same thing. Just fold it like a triangle in here. After you do that, you're going to hold the side right here that you fold and you bring into a quarter of an inch past the center line right here. The other side you're going to do exact the same. Just overlap the other side a quarter of an inch, just like this everyone. If you use the ribbon, if you use ribbon, you can use this side up. It look nicer because this kind of ribbon. So I'm going to use this side for the flower. So either way, you can use this for the ribbon. So after you put it together, you're going to use the threading needle that I already have a four in there. So using this one needle and thread, and you're going to sew it in. Just do um, baste and stitch over. So simple, isn't it? Now you can, you have that one, you're going to leave it there. I'm going to show you one more time. So face the right side down, and then you're going to fold it. If you want to make sure you fold in the middle, it's really simple. You can press the center line right there, and then bring this down to the center line. Hold on to this one. Bring the other uh, left side in to here and then press your finger right there bring this from the right overlap a quarter of an inch over to the other side the left side bring it in overlap about a quarter of an inch now you have it very simple and easy thing to do you see now you go on to sold it in How easy that is, everyone. So simple. And I'm going to show you more fancy one. Now you bring it over here. So when you have the last one here, six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, you're going to bring in two. Pull this. You get the knock from the beginning when you um, when you sew the first one. Bring the knock out. 
fold this, you're going to tie it together. Just tie it together. Let go the needle. You don't hold the needle when you tie because you're going to get hurt. So then pull. You can cut this dress out. Now after you cut the, the dress out, you're going to make sure it's the flower stay nice. Make sure the petal all wrap up and nice like this. You're going to make sure it's nice and even. Isn't that so beautiful? You can make this with anything. The ribbon, the, the fabric that you have extra from the face mat. You can almost do with everything. So now everything look good. If you, if you like the way it is, then you're going to use one of the, um, I got this from a Dollar Tree too. It's the, um, the fail fabric right here. I'm going to cut it just a circle. Just cut into a round circle right here. In the meantime, I'm going to plug it in my glue gun. Don't mind my glue gun, everyone. I use that for years and years with the kit in school, so it's all messed up because they use mine too. The next time when I make it, I'm going to use this side. I'm using this side on the ribbon so you can see the petal right here for you because the way it's cut, I told you already. So I'm using this one. I also get a big giant bag of eyes, the glasses eyes in a dollar tree. I'm going to use the biggest eyes ever. I'm going to place it right there. So for this, we need to wrap the metal here. I have purchased this from Amazon and I will list the link on my description for you to get. This is coming with 20 different color in here, everyone. And we're going to have a lot of things to do. I'm going to use the orange one so I can wrap that. Whatever you want to wrap, but I'm using this one right now. I'm going to add the little clue here. Right in here. And then I'm getting the gripping. And I'm going to tie it and put it right here. And you open the ribbon like just open like this and get the glue just a little bit go on here. And let's go around. You open this so your hand can go in, your finger can go in here, and then get the ribbon. And now I'm going to go to the back. You don't need to wrap the whole thing. Most people don't. But because you don't want to too sharp, so just do this. This is the back side. You're going to add the fail on it. Right in the middle. So you kind of hold everything back in here. Everything you hold it in the back here. Nicely. Then you're going to add the hair clip in there. When you add the hair clip, the curved side, it going down. The straight is up so when you have when you use it it's like this so you're going to add a glue on it go right in there just like that okay now if you're happy with the way it looks 
then you get the clue you go on to add the clue in the center and then you put the big giant eyes in there and that's it you're done with the hair clip everyone how nice and so quick and easy and again you can do with extra uh, when you make face mat and you want to match with your hair bow you can use the same fabric and cut it out to the square and I will show you how to do that